Wednesday, July the 13th. Lake level is a little over 916. It's come down uh, a little under a foot since the fishing report last week. And uh, water temperature, it's, it's about the same still. It's about 84, 85 degrees. Actually, all this rain and stuff that we've had and cloudy days kind of kept that water temperature a lot cooler. It's actually, you know, dropped it down about 5 degrees from what it was 2, 3 weeks ago because we were seeing a lot of 90 degree water uh, towards the end of June there. But, uh, you know, I think the fishing, uh, I think it's kind of tough, you know. There's a lot of things that don't work day to day. I've really got to change it up to keep catching fish. Now, with that, when that water came up last week, uh, I was able to get onto a shallow bite, you know, up in the river arms, and that was on a little jig and a square bill crankbait. And the jig I was throwing was a little 3 8 ounce, a uh, pig sticker, Snowden jig, a uh, green pumpkin with orange, with a little rage craw, but a little chompers, critter craw would work up. On um, the baits I was flipping the docks with, the shallow docks, i am got a lot smaller profile jig, so I'm using a lot smaller profile trailer. But it seemed like the 3 8 ounce worked the best for me. Another good color was a California 420 or a Magic Craw. But anything in the brown, green pumpkins will work. And it seemed like these docks uh, were in the backs of them, had three to four feet of water, and you know, the front of them might have had 12 to 15, kind of like what you'd fish up at Lake of the Ozarks. And they were actually on some shallow wood too, but with the water dropping almost a foot, a lot of the shallow wood that I was cranking and flipping is probably going to be out of water. But I think if you can find some wood with a couple feet of water in it. It's been, you know, three, four days since I've been up there. Uh, you can catch some fish on the, either on the jig or the crankbait. And what I was cranking was a little square bill. This is a, an RC 1.5. This is a 1.0 Strike King. And then a, a 1.5 will also work. And if you get out there in a little bit deeper water in the five or six foot range, you might try something like a 2.5 or like a balsa B2, something goes a little deeper. But mainly the shad colors were working pretty good. And what I was doing was running these things parallel with the logs or the laydowns or crashing them right into it. And some of them were extremely shallow because I could actually see the fish roll on the bait. You know, a lot of times that laydown might have only been in, you know, two and a half foot of water. But there was enough stain in the water that, you know, the fish were real shallow. And I've tried that a little bit, you know, down lake on the mid-lake area around Kimberley. And it will work some, but it's not as, you know, near as consistent. As far as the down lake bite, you know, the drop shot bite is normally really good this time of year. Them fish are usually grouped up and schooled up pretty deep. But with a lot of these cloudy days we've had, seems like on the cloudy days the fish are getting up pretty high in the water column. Where I, you know, some days you can catch them on a white or a silver five eighths ounce uh, Dixie Jet flutter spoon. Uh, other days a little swim bait, but like I say, it's not real consistent. I'm, most of these fish that I was finding out on the main lake gravel points are getting harder and harder to catch. My most consistent bite on the drop shot and the spoon have been around the deep dock still. Uh, whether it's out in front of them and down the, the sides on the shaded sides uh, Not so much in the stalls. They seem like they've been out suspended out in front of the dock One thing I, I did found That worked and I kind of found it by mistake, but uh, here's that flutter spoon that Dixie Jet You know either a 5 8 ounce white or silver works real good for them suspended fish but what I found was working on some of them docks was uh, a football jig. And actually what I was doing was flipping the jig into the stalls, letting it go down to the bottom and crawling it out. And on my one of my retrieves back out, I had a fish come out from underneath the styrofoam, a good largemouth come out. So we took and started swimming the jig down about five or six feet deep. And this was out over, you know, 30 and 40 foot of water and the stalls that were just 30, 40 feet underneath them. And just swimming this down about five or six feet real aggressively. And early today, the, you know, the fish were up underneath that styrofoam. Now, as the sun got up higher, it seemed like them fish went down a little bit deeper. And also up in the river arms, 
you know, I've been catching some on a football jig and still a deep crankbait, but it's, it hadn't been real consistent. Now, they had a tournament this past weekend. You know, I say it's been kind of tough, but the five fish took 19 pounds to win. The second place was like 16. Third place dropped another couple pounds. So, I mean, there was a couple guys that hadn't figured out, but for the most part, the weight seemed to be in that 10 to 12 pound range. I mean, I can still catch a lot of fish on the drop shot. They're little knot heads, you know, little 10, 12 inches. The better keeper fish I'm really having to work at. And like I said, drop shot and the spoon seem to be the best on that. But if you get a chance to get up in the river arms, whether it's the upper uh, Long Creek or Kings or James or even Flat Creek, get up there and fish some of that real shallow cover. They'll either be on the flat banks with the shallow cover or look for the little channel where it's a little bit deeper on one side. You can usually tell what banks those are. They'll, the steeper banks will be where the channel is and... The flatter bank will be where the snags are, and like I say, take a jig or crankbait and work it through it and around it, and you got a whole lot less boat traffic up there as well. The uh, mid-river seems to be getting a lot of pressure, you know, especially on the weekends because there's been several tournaments. Uh, everything's been getting, you know, beat up pretty good, but there's still some good quality fish up there. It's just a matter of being at the right spot at the right time, you know, at the right time. Now, a lot of them fish on a football jig you know, aren't very deep, and they're suspended, you know, some of them are suspended 12 to 15 foot, some of them are on the bottom at 12 to 15. So like a, a Series X, I mean, a, a Series 6 Strike King, Fat Free Shad, like a DT-16 or DT-20, will also work on them, them fish up there. But I think if this water, you know, we get a little bit more consistent as far as temperature get a little hotter, that thermocline would get down there a little bit deeper, which would get that, uh, you know, the deeper fish more congregated, make the deeper bite a little easier. But you still catch fish, just got to work a little harder. So until next week, good luck, good fishing.